This video covers how to assemble the wheel thrown pieces of your teapot. Once you've thrown all of your pieces, allow them to dry to the leather hard stage. This means you can't see your fingerprints when you press on them. Start with the spout. Hold it up to your teapot and determine what angle it needs to point up. In order to cut the perfect amount of spout off, use the circle tracer and slide it over the spout. Use this to draw the line at the appropriate angle. This might take a couple tries. Use an X-Acto knife to cut along your guideline. Try not to saw and instead cut the same line several times in order to make it all the way through the clay. Now hold the spout at the correct place on the teapot. Make sure that the top of your spout lines up evenly with the top of the teapot. If it's too low, too much water will pour out and you won't be able to fill the teapot. Draw a guideline around where the spout meets the body of the teapot. Within this guideline, poke as many holes as you can fit, allowing at least a quarter inch between each of the holes. You can choose to blend the spout smoothly into the body of the teapot or leave a seam like I did here in this photo. But if you leave a seam, make sure that you clean it up with a wet paintbrush or a modeling tool and make sure that it's even all the way around. Step five is to score and attach your pulled handle. After pulling the handles, I leave them sit out on the table for about 10 to 15 minutes to firm up. This makes attaching them much easier as they won't be as floppy or soft. Notice on the picture to the left that I'm attaching the handle directly across from the spout. It's really easy to accidentally attach it off to the side. Score where you are planning to attach it before you pick up the handle. After scoring, slip and attach your handle. Blend the handle down into the teapot, not out towards the sides. This creates a smoother, more aesthetically pleasing transition from handle to teapot. Plus, it's a less work than blending it out both sides. You can use your finger or a modeling tool. Make sure to clean up the edges with a wet paintbrush. Repeat step six for the bottom of the handle, making sure that you score, slip, and smooth downwards at the bottom, and then clean up the seam with a wet paintbrush. But in order to finish this project, it must be dried slowly in an, either an enclosed environment like your cabinet or under a bag for several days. This prevents cracking of the handles and the spouts, which is easy to happen because they're so much smaller than the body of the teapot. Ta-da!